What's up dudes and dudettes? So yeah, there was a little bit of time in between games, so I'm going to go back to Monday real quick. The Ducks did get that 2-0 win against Vegas, who's a pretty good team. I think they're like number one in the Western Conference right now, which is crazy for being a brand new team, but... You know, it was a nice win against them, especially getting a shutout. And then I wanted to get a couple thoughts on the Louisville, like, stuff that came out. I know it's been really reported about, like, the whole sexual stuff where they had, like, strippers or even prostitutes for the players and all that stuff. And that all came out a few years ago. And they finally gave the the reprimands or they finally came out with the decision to take uh, I think over a couple hundred wins from them and even the title they had back in 2013 you know it's not something crazy like that was that's pretty close to what happened to USC and in my opinion USC didn't really do as bad of something like that that went on for a lot longer in Louisville than at USC who was just kind of giving some money f for a couple players who really the players didn't really want the money it was more of the parents asking for the money and yeah USC was at fault but it seems still that USC has gotten more punished for that even more than what Penn State has been punished which they were hardly punished for something that went on that was even worse in my opinion and then Louisville yeah I don't know what their scholarship takeaways are for are gonna look like but USC I think for five years had like the worst run and that was the main reason why because they had no scholarships to give out and I don't know how you could do that with with basketball I don't know how that works out compared to football which you need more scholarship excuse me players for but you know it is what it is it's the ruling they came up with so you know we'll see what their future looks like and you know I think we should just all calm down a little bit it's not as serious as what has happened to some other schools but you know Thanks for listening. Okay, and Duke does get a blowout win against Louisville, who throughout this past few days did have a few things happen to them, so you can understand why they probably weren't playing up to their potential, but they could be. But, you know, <clears throat> win's a win for Duke. It's good to have on their resume any type of win. You know, let's just see how the rest of the season goes with a few games left. USC also does get a win on the road against Colorado. Pretty close game, which they probably shouldn't have been, but win's a win, like I said. And for USC, they need as much as they can get because they did lose a lot earlier in the year. And, um, you know, it's not a quality win, but still a win. So hopefully they're not playing in the first four in like how they've been trying to get into the tournament. Hopefully they're a solid seed once they get to it. And then the Ducks also get another win on Wednesday against Dallas on the road. Pretty nice win. I think they moved up ahead of them in the standings. So the Ducks are like, I think, fourth or fifth place, which is amazing because when I barely started putting them on these videos, they were right outside of the playoffs. So it's kind of cool how they made some moves to get up there which is crazy but good for them good for a lot of my teams this week a lot of wins to report which is great hopefully it continues this weekend and I'll probably have another video in between then if not you'll probably see it on Sunday maybe Monday so thanks again guys thanks for watching you know no meat tomorrow so if you're a Catholic Christian and if you're not it don't matter you know eat as much meat as you want but you know yes I do have to go through that because you know I'm, I'm dedicated for my grandmother. So thanks again. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.